Hey, what's going on guys? I just wanted to do a quick video comparing regular Alkaline batteries to the newer Inloop Pros in the, the battery compartment of one of these LEGO trains. I'm just going to compare like the, the speed of the initial train. Now what I have in there so far is just normal Alkaline batteries, AAA, six of them. And we're going to see the, the, the speed, how fast it goes compared to the Inloop Pros. So here it goes. Setting one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now that's max speed right now. So I'm going to let it go do a few laps and actually count how many times it passes the little crane right here. And compare that to the Enemy Pro. Alright, I'm going to stop that. And then I'll switch out to the Inloop Pros and I'll be right back. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what's going on? Okay, I'm back. Uh, I just wanted to show you before I put it in the train that these are the Inloop Pros. Um, I picked these up and these are to replace what you just saw from the Duracell Procell. Uh, AAA batteries. So I'm going to reassemble this case and be right back with the train demonstration. And by the way, I picked these up. I think I paid $21 for these. It was a pack of eight. Um, so that's to compare with the lithium box that you can buy from Lego for $50. $21 is obviously a lot cheaper. And I actually had already purchased this for some Energizer rechargeables that I had. This charges is the Enloop battery pros as well. So, all right, I'll be right back with a demonstration. All right, here's a train uh, put together again with the Enloop pros, and we're gonna test the speed of the train, see if it makes a difference. So, there's speed one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Doesn't really seem like too much of a difference. Five to replay the videos and then see for uh, comparison. But there you go, that concludes the test. 